Hey viewers, welcome to another game of Schedule Pro Gamer. Today we are doing a Namumu game, and this is on Dominion, so that's why you see all of the Dominion champions on the bottom team. So on our team. Uh, so Akali, yeah, kind of the standard one. Uh, Lee Sin, kind of the standard one. I've never seen a Mumu here. Um, yeah, also Varys, yeah, he does very well here normally. But uh, yeah, Kogma, I've never seen him. Uh, then, yeah, the enemy team seems to have, well, the idea that this is a normal game or something like that. Because... <laughs> Caitlyn, uh, Anivia, Lulu, yeah Lulu I guess would do very well here because she can battle pretty well without the turrets uh, then Blitzcrank yeah he will do very pretty well and Twitch is pretty useless because all of the uh, neutral and capture turrets will have detection uh, you only won't have detection on the turrets that are captured by your enemies so his stealth is not going to be very useful. I I have to feel that... Yeah, he's not going to do a whole lot. Anyhow, um, we are starting off with some uh, spell vamp over here. Some armor. Uh, oh, actually 5 gold per 10 seconds item. Who the hell starts that? This, uh, these games normally last for about 20 minutes, so yeah, unless you buy them straight away, they're not really useful. But I, I, he did buy them straight away, so. Uh, yeah, some extra damage. Normally we see way more uh, boots here. De these, all of these guys have boots. We have only three boots on this team. Anyhow, it seems that um, the standard captures go off, and then uh, we have a four on three team fight. And we will come in a little bit late because he was capturing that point and immediately chases off the Anivia. They do get a kill here and Twitch is going to die as well. As I said the uh, the, the stealth not really good here. Oh unfortunately misses his Q there. That would have been a capture uh a capture uh, a kill. And the windmill has been captured there by two champions and yes he does get the kill so she was already egged and there you go Lulu now getting tagged a little no yeah they are going to make it so yeah about 45% uh, uh, of the uh, uh, I'm sorry <sighs> About 75% of the uh, point was captured there, of the refinery. But they are going to have to let it go for now. And wisely just backing off to the points. Uh, Kogma actually defending up here. He should recall. And Amumu is going to capture this point. There's going to be someone coming in. And he's too late, wow, too late on uh, on preventing that capture, that is pretty sloppy. He could have easily been there in time. And Amumu is going to turn around and capture the point now. With the help of these minions, that makes it go even quicker. And there we go. So yeah, Blitzcrank had to back off, um, didn't prevent the capture, uh, if he prevented, or the neutralize, if he prevented the neutralize, would have been a lot better, obviously. And yeah, the enemy team gets a triple, at least I think that was a triple, yep, it was. So yeah, they uh, recapture the windmill here, and since both teams are this at the same point, at uh, the same level, yeah, it's uh, it's interesting. It's it's getting interesting. So hopefully we we can keep this up, and this will be an interesting match. So yeah, Amumu getting the capture off or the the stun off, and yeah, everyone just jumping in on that. And Amumu running around the back, really nice. Yeah, they had to cut off the retreat, although there wasn't much of a retreat anyway. <laughs> Disrupting three guys there. 
And yeah, she is going to die for that little trick. But yeah, it was a nice trick. So now let's capture this. And I'm um, going to distract this guy. Um, yeah, from disrupting that capture. The quest is on the bottom points. Hey, they made some new, uh, some new uh, items on the minimap for the quest. So another kill going down, and are they going to capture Blitzcrank? Nope, that is not the case. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Akali jumping into for uh, to uh, everyone and uh, still gets the kill. <laughs> pretty, pretty crazy. Yeah, uh, Akali does a lot of damage. So even if everyone is hammering on someone, the chances of her getting the point are pretty good. So yeah, the uh, Blitzcrank coming in here to capture this dude. But Blitzcrank is not really a damage champion, although he does quite a lot of damage here all of a sudden. Wow. How does he have so much damage? Oh, wait, he's level 8. Okay, yeah. The levels here go pretty quick. And... Yeah. Unless you have someone that actually has a shield or something like that, Blitzcrank will do very nicely. But Blitzcrank is a great battle... Uh, champion and he can definitely do some uh, some damage uh, one on one of course and yeah in the 5v5s you see a lot more uh, gold on champions and that's why uh, well there's, a, there's such a different way of playing this the uh, the additional gold on the enemy champions would result in more um, uh, resists so more armor, more magic resist, and therefore he wouldn't be able to do as much. But here he has been doing really well. A capture on the bottom point, but they did lose the windmill there. So all in all, they're still 3-2-2 two two ahead, and they're going to just defend these points. Make sure that they can, uh, they can get this point, so putting pressure on the top to make sure that the enemy has to stay here and defend but for this moment it seems that all has stabilized at 3 versus 2 doesn't mean anything of course because yeah someone will go in eventually and uh, yeah it seems that Lulu targeted herself with her ultimate and then does no damage to anything else so she's going to get killed along with her teammates getting a triple and going to capture this top point. They do lose the bottom point for that, so it's kind of another trait. Might as well have uh, defended your own points. <laughs> but yeah, that's not how this uh, map works. This map works as uh, as randomly as possible. So, it seems a 2 versus 1, but he's unaware of that, obviously. <laughs> and there's Lee Sin coming in. And Lee Sin is going to attempt to do some damage but it's a one versus three so he's not going to manage not even managing to pick up the blitzcrank the so top point now only has one defender and five attackers coming in and yeah that's not going to be good enough and is blitzcrank going to fall come on Land the Q. No. He's going to get away. Yep, he is gone. Nice uh, escape route there. And no, Twitch is going to survive that because he is invisible. And yeah, this is the only thing that Twitch can do. Roam in the, well, let's, let's call it jungle. And that way he, uh, he can stay invisible. Oh, a nice jump there from. Uh, uh, <laughs> it didn't work. Uh, nice jump for uh, from uh, Lee Sin, getting in between everything and capturing uh, or catching one of the uh, chasers. But as I said, it didn't work in the end. And let's crack going to disrupt everyone. Going to get a triple kill out of this. If oh, they captured just in time. Wow. That was so close to being a triple kill. 
if he stayed alive for like two seconds longer. <laughs> oh man. So yeah, they're going to uh, capture this point again and the top point, making it three versus two again. And they are now about 60 points ahead. So top points, yeah, under some pressure from the blue team now. And it seems that uh, Akali, yeah, will go down. There we go. And Lee Sin just going to uh, make sure that he can grab some kills out of this. Uh, going to get the one kill, I think. No! Oh wow, that Blitzcrank does so much damage, even though he does ha it doesn't have any damage items. Not even the boots are damage, uh, well, are, are like magic penetration or something like that. It's crazy. But he does very well. Yeah, well, I figured he would do very well, but... The point almost getting captured and... Wow, how did he miss that kill on Lulu? I don't know. Anyhow, they do get the capture in the end. And it is time for... Uh, for the red team to do something back here. Because they are behind now. 3 versus 2. They are going to lose some points. And Akali is just uh, happy to get this kill. And then probably walk back into her stealth. Wait for things to recharge. No, she's just going to go straight on Anivia. Anivia dies because, well, Anivia is not a good champion here. And yeah, Akali is probably one of the top three champions. Because, um, yeah, she is just, she has everything that you need on this map. Oh, sorry. Um, capture on the top points. And Amumu thinks, well. Let's try this point, but gets stunned immediately, gets damaged quite heavily actually. And that's because uh, Amu uh, Anivia gets uh, a lot of uh, AP right away. So yeah, this um, score, uh, unfortunately I can't really tune that down. and 3D blocking a large part of the screen, but that's all good. It's, uh, there's nothing I can do about it, so I will have to work with it, I guess. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Kali getting another kill. And yeah, they are attempting to go for a 4 versus 1. And um, bye bye, Anivia. And are they going to catch the Twitch? Yes, the Twitch gets killed before getting the kill. And. Um, Oh, nice, a triple kill, and she stays alive. And they are going for the 5 versus 0. So 4 versus 1 achieved. No, no, just capture that point. Just neutralize it. Takes like half a second. Wow, they, they let that go just too early. And 5 versus 1, uh, oh, 4 versus 0 is so much stronger than 4 versus 1. Oh man. Yeah, they are going to uh, to keep this point. They, they have a pretty good defense going on. And come on, are they going to be able to defend this? No, Varys, you have to do something now. Yes, he is able to defend it for now. And those few extra seconds that he just disrupted that is going to give them like six more points. And that is really important to have. <laughs> oh, yeah, Lulu once again all alone here. Yeah, she, she keeps battling on her own and that does not work on Lulu. It works on Blitzcrank though. But Lulu has all kinds of support items. Why would you go support items? Why wouldn't you go AP here? This is the ultimate map to go AP. And still... Yeah, doesn't do that. Oh, come on, Amumu! You're going to die! Capture the port! No. <laughs> oh, the blue team now captured the two top points again. So, oh, this, uh, this one they already had. 
I guess that that was never captured unfortunately and yeah they did get this top point so I guess yeah they only d did capture one point there and of course the bottom point but the bottom point is right next to their uh, base so that's pretty easy to capture because the resupply route of champions is pretty short oh excellent job on uh, on Twitch's part Twitch getting a lot of damage out straight away and uh, Mumu going to try to capture that point or save the point no, it's actually recapture it I guess <laughs> Mumu. oh sad mommy yeah I can see why he's crying now <laughs> it's kinda funny so um, Akali going to get the storm shield and the storm shield should help her get a kill here Oh no, she's not going for this kill. She's actually going for the other point. Uh, may actually get the Blitzcrank kill because of this. Because Blitzcrank is going to run straight at her. And... Is she... G no, no, no. Blitzcrank is just going to stay in the middle here. Going to wait until the point is actually captured before he does anything. And then, of course, Akali is going to just ruin his day by just killing him even though he has been trying yeah to stay healthy get a health pack and uh, heal back up and then yeah Mikali finally has the time to deal with him and deals with him in like two seconds <laughs> that damage man large amount of damage going down on uh, on two enemy champions or two uh, red champions Sorry about that, I had to sneeze a lot. So uh, Amumu making use of the fact that um, yeah, the Twitch was really low and uh, the point is still neutralized. So that's all good. And he is going to lose the fight to uh, this, this uh, Blitzcrank on his own. But with Varus there, they should be fine. He needs to run out though. Yep, he will be fine. So the top point gets uh, taken by the blue team. Oh no, not taken. Because Akali has something to say about that. And she doesn't like it when they take the points. Yeah, the traps that are over here are not very useful. There was another one over here. Pretty sure that just timed out. That nobody stepped in it. If you want to use the traps as Caitlyn, you need to be a little bit smarter about it because this really doesn't work you need to either close off one of the uh, one of the entrances or so for example place three here so that nobody can get through or place them in bushes if you want to uh, capture people that way oh lots of damage going off but they are both going to die maybe she picks up another kill yes nice she does pick up another kill. So Blitzcrank has a lot of kills here. Uh, he has 12 kills, 17 on this guy and 20 on this guy. And we was doing 6 and 6 with 16 assists. That's pretty impressive. Momo, of course, uh, yeah, not a very high damage champion, but he can get a lot of uh, kills for his team uh, with the help of his team. And Momo going to attempts to get the the Caitlyn but that's not going to work uh, yeah they need to kill the Anivia first because Anivia does a lot of damage instantly but she has a lot of AP going so that kind of helps and oh wow another kill on the Kogma. Kogma is not doing too hot I believe He's 7 and 10, so no, he is not a good champion. And yeah, kind of figured that from the beginning because Kogmar is just too fragile. Uh, he is, uh, yeah, he just can't stand up to all this damage. 
if you hit him twice as uh, as a Kali, he will die. And that's just no good. That's not what you want. So Twitch, yeah, has been doing really well because, well, he has been staying in the jungle most of the game. And that, of course, helps. Uh, of course, the fact that he does a lot of damage also helps. Because even if he's visible, he can still get the kills. And uh, by this time, because he's uh, completely fed, um, there's really not a whole lot that can kill him before he gets killed. Unless he's in a... Like... I don't know, a 2 versus 1... Uh, 1 versus 2. Or... Yeah, well, something like that. I mean... Nobody's going to be able to kill him one on one. Maybe a Kali though. And um, if you're in a two versus two, then he will definitely uh, smash your face in because he just has incredibly quick attacks. And uh, yeah, in general, he is just really dangerous to deal with. But most of the time, he has uh, spent in uh, in in this middle part. And that is a really wise choice, and that's why he got so many kills with a limited amount of deaths. There he comes in once again. Yeah, now next to his own turret, so his own turret won't detect him either, of course. And yeah, he does get killed, but he does... Oh, no, they, they do grab a kill, not him. Oh, come on. No, it's not going to work. Oh, wow. So, Kogma doesn't get the speed boost from the speed shrine over here when he's dead. That is uh, kind of disappointing. I expected that to work, I, actually. Because it should work. I mean, how else is he going to chase down people with his, uh, his ultimate? He gets an additional movement speed buff, but it doesn't work for some reason. It, it's... Yeah, it's not good enough to... Um, to outrange the speed shrines, to uh, outrun the speed shrines. Anyway, the top part here getting neutralized or not neutralized, getting defended by uh, the blue team, and it is time now for this team to. Oh, why would you get an oracles? You're not even up against Twitch, man. She is re she, she really thinks she's on Summoner's Rift or something like that. Getting all of these gold items, getting uh, support items. That is just crazy mode. And Evia also thinks she's on uh, Summoner's Rift, by the way. Because, well, building Athena's holy Unholy Grail, uh, that is just crazy mode. That is just... Yeah, I, I took a guide from uh, Mobile Fire and... Uh, this was what resulted from it. Because you don't need that much mana. It takes you about 10 seconds to go back home and get back in lane. And the Unholy Grail really doesn't work in this situation. It doesn't give you enough stats. And she is currently um, 8 to 12. So Twitch is now, um, yeah. Although he has a lot of uh, a lot of kills, he has more deaths or almost more deaths by now. The only one really doing well is um, this this Blitzcrank, 19 and 6. Totally impressed by that. So maybe I should try uh, try out Blitzcrank here. Oh, it's already zero zero to 97. And yeah, a lot of uh, nice defense going on on the top point. And every time they lost the top point, they took the bottom point. So nice aggression. Uh, their other two points were hardly ever under siege. I don't think they captured the drill once. And they lost the boneyard a couple of times, but then recaptured it really quickly. Nice uh, teamwork. And yeah, it's a it's a great thing if you have uh, a Kali on your team. And Amumu did very well too. I mean, he is 10 and 8, so he did well. Uh, one of the two tops, and let's see who actually ended up on top. Uh, no points. Can we see points? No? Oh, here. So 22 is the highest, and this one is actually place number 4. 
yeah, just behind these two. A lot of captures and uh, and assist captures on uh, on Lulu. And oh no, 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 no! Hang on, there's a fifteen hundred over here. A fifteen hundred over here. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> So he's uh, at least uh, third in his team, and that is pretty impressive for someone who, uh, well, who builds only tanky items, because 10 kills, 20 assists, that means that you're in a lot of the fights, and only 8 deaths, that's also pretty impressive. So knows when to back off, at least. Anyway, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. GG.